Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Chukudi Ekomal, and today I am going to show you how to use the wide array of tools that you have at your disposal using the Complete Anatomy platform. This is particularly helpful if you are an educator who creates content regularly for the consumption of others. Okay, now let's get straight to it. In order for you to access your tools icon, you can look at the far right hand corner of the screen. Here you can see tools. Select it and it exposes you to the wide array of tools that we have, such as the annotate tools, the cutting tools, the growth tools, and other tools as well. So let me zoom into the thigh to provide more context. Okay. So here we're going to be looking at the pen tools. Now there are two types of pens. You have your 2D pen and you have your 3D pen. Now the difference between the 2D and the 3D pen can be seen when you rotate the model. So here you can see that while the 2D pen remains within the two dimensional field, the 3D pen sticks with the model. Okay, so you can zoom in and zoom out as well. Now the 3D pen is particularly helpful if you want to mark specific structures for students. So if you want to mark an area and you want students to identify that area, the 3D pen is very helpful for that. You can also choose a different array of colors for the pens and different stencil sizes as well. You can actually also increase and reduce the opacity of your pen to make it more transparent or less see-through. Also, you can clear your pen tools by hitting the clear 3D pen here to remove all the marks that you've made with the 3D pen. Or you can also clear the 2D pen by hitting the clear 2D pen. Now, another type of tool that we have is the labels tool. And there are three types of labels. You have your preset labels, you have your grouped labels, and you also have your label, the labels that you can customize or your customizable labels. So in order to access the preset labels, hit the model once. And here you can actually see that um, the, the labels are preset, okay? So you have the English name of the structure that you have selected and its Latin name as well. Now you can also customize the label. Say for instance, you want someone to identify this area, just quickly double click and type identify structure X. And here you can see that you have used this to form a question. Another type of label that we have is the groups labels. Here, you can access this by clicking and holding a particular subset of structures and select as many structures that you want. Here, you can see that this area has already been, um, this area has been highlighted as well. So you can also see a drop down list of all the structures that you have selected as part of the group. And if you want to have a general name for the group, just double click on the top icon and name this muscles of the thigh. So here you can see that the group has been named. You can move the icon anywhere you want. And when you select that icon, it gives you an option to hit the drop down list. And you can select any muscle from that list. And it shows you the leader line identifying some of those structures that you have selected. Okay. Also, if you want to clear your labels, hit the clear labels icon on the top green bar. Another way that we can utilize the labels tool effectively is by selecting multiple structures at the same time and having them labeled. Now here's how. I'm going to zoom into the hand for more context. I'll hit the labels tool. Now here, I can click and hold one structure. 
it shows me the structure that I've selected as the distal phalanx of the tongue. Now what I can do is that I can drag a box, click and drag a box around all the structures that I want to select. Complete Anatomy automatically highlights that area and all the um, structures that I have selected are automatically labeled. I can scroll through those labels using the leader lines in order to identify some of those structures within that subset. Now, of course, I can clear my labels by hitting clear labels or clicking and holding the undo button as well. Now, one more way that we can get creative with our labels tool is by having a seamless interaction between the different views within Complete Anatomy. Now, I can do this by using the labels tool, especially if you're into creating content like videos and you want to select your model in multiple different positions. So I can hit the labels tool. Say, for instance, I want a frontal view of the skeleton. I can select any structure, such as the mandible. And if I want to have a lateral view of this structure, I'll just quickly hit done, rotate the model to that position that I want. I could zoom in and zoom out to provide some more context. Hit the labels tool again. And this time I am hitting the temporal bone to reveal that area. Now, if I want to reveal the posterior view, I can turn it around, hit the labels tool once more, and select the occipital bone. Now, if I hit the home button, here you can see that I have selected three different label positions. I can hit that to reveal the mandible rotating the model to show the temporal bone and further making that rotation to show the occipital bone. So there are several ways to utilize the label, not just to identify structures. You can actually interact with the model using the labels too. Now, another type of tool that we have is the text box. The text box enables you to create written content, okay? Say for instance, if you want to type in learning outcomes, for your students. You can make this text bo box bold. You can also make it italics if you want. You can change the font color or change the font size as well. Okay. So moving on, another very important tool that we have is the cutting tool. Now, the cut tool functions like a virtual dissector, enabling you to cut through different layers of different structures that you want. I'll show you how you, you can do this. Now, there are two types of, cut, of cuts. You have single layered cuts, and you also have multi layered cuts. Okay. Now, the single, with the single layered cuts, you can cut through, you can cut between, or you can cut open. Now I'll show you how. Now you can cut above or below. So it gives you an option to uh, cut above or below. You can also cut between, say for instance, I want to separate this model, uh, muscle to provide a passage. Here you can see that a passage has been, has been created as well. Or for instance, if I want to cut open the structure, Here you can cut around the structure, removing the um, external oblique aponeurosis to reveal the internal oblique muscle. Now, if you want to hide, you can also, as well, cut between multiple layers. And I'll show you how. So with your tools, you hit the cut tool, and you can change your option from a single layered cut to multiple layered cuts. Here you can cut you know, within transverse section, uh, sagittal section, coronal section, if you want. So I just want to make a transverse section cut of the left tie.
gives you it gives you an option to cut either above or below as well. So I've cut this. And here you can see that these are not just two dimensional cuts. You can rotate the model and reveal the cuts in between. You can also turn on the arterial layer in order for you to see how blood vessels relate with these layers of cuts. Okay. So another thing that you can do is when you have cuts like this, you can clear all your tools by clicking and holding the undo button. It gives me a history of all the manipulations that I have made with the model. And here you can click on clear all tools to remove all the tools. Now, oftentimes customers wonder how to make full body cross sections using the cuts tool. Now, this is one quick way that we can do this. In the tool options, you can select the cut tool. Now, one thing to do is to make sure that it's a full layered, multi layered cut. So it's not just a single layered cut. So the multi layered option is highlighted. Also, ensure that the cut between option also is highlighted as well. So, with these two highlighted, here's one thing you can do drag a line across the particular level that you want to make the cut. So a little bit above the umbilicus in this situation. That is where your first line would be. Now your second line would be outside the body of the model. And once you've made these two lines, automatically complete anatomy cuts away all the other structures below the level of the line, giving you a very neat cross section above the umbilicus. Now, of course, this is not a two-dimensional cross-section. When you rotate the model and zoom in, you can actually see some of the different um, components of the abdomen at that particular level. Here you can see the spleen, the stomach, the liver, the inferior vena cava, and all the other components that make up that cross section. So it's one neat way to create cross sections on your own. I'll show you another type of tool that we have, the fracture tool. This is particularly helpful if you want to create um, traumatic conditions such as a fracture or a ligament tear. So here you can click and drag and you can see that the fracture has been created. Also, if I want to simulate pathological conditions such as the bony spores that appear during osteoarthritis, you can click on the spore tool, click and drag, and you can also create those conditions of pathological appearances as well. Here you can clear spores, or you can hold the undo button and clear all tools, okay? Now, as educators, it's particularly helpful to create um, content, okay? So one way you can create content for students is by importing new content. So say for instance, you're an educator and you don't want to lose any content that you have created in the past, you can import your own content using Complete Anatomy. And I'm gonna show you how. Say for instance, you are trying to explain a concept to a medical student, um, say, the muscles of the thigh. And I have made this cut. And I want to correlate the cut of the thigh with a scan, such as an MRI scan. I can quickly import an MRI image that I have by using the import tool. So here you have the import tool and it gives me an option to import an MRI image. Here you can see the image is available. And what I can do is to add a couple of labels. I can also add a text box to write in my learning outcomes. So here I have an image, a text box, 
a couple of labels, I can actually use the pen tool as well to mark this structure. Okay, so with all this, I have content that I want to save. You can actually use um, the Complete Anatomy platform as an interactive PowerPoint slide. And you can do this by saving a screen. So a screen is like an interactive um, PowerPoint slide where you can manipulate the model as well as add content within that um, particular subset of structures. So here you can hit the Save Screen option. Complete Anatomy assembles your screen. And you can type in a title for the screen, say, Muscles of the Thigh, okay? Type in a quick description, and it would ask you where you want to save your screen. Now, screens are saved in locations called groups. And I would like to think of a group as an interactive bookmark, which can be personalized or shared. Personalize in the sense that it is my own content I don't want to share with anyone, or share in the sense that you want to share with a subset of students. Okay, so we can show you how to use groups in another demonstration. So I want this to be saved in just my screens alone. So Complete Anatomy saves this in my screens. And you might be wondering, where is this saved? Where, where can I find my screens? How do I locate my screens? Like your screens are banked in your library. That's another demonstration for another day. So you can access um, your screens by accessing the library, by looking at the library, it shows you all the different content that you have saved or content that is available within Complete Anatomy as well. So this is the screen that I have saved. And you can scroll down to access that screen. Or you can also see some of the other different screens that I have saved as well. Again, if you want to remove all this from the screen, just click and hold on do, click on clear all tools, and it restores the model back to its default setting. Now, one other thing that you can do is you can use the search functionality. Now, the search functionality enables you to access all the content that you have within the Complete Anatomy platform. And you can also use it to throw in structures within the screen. Say for instance, you're looking for the brain or you're looking for content related to the brain. Here you can throw the brain in the screen, okay? And you also say for instance, you're looking for the central nervous system, you also need the spinal cord for some context. You can type spinal cord, and here you can see that that spinal cord is continued with the brain. So it's a very quick way to throw in structures within the scene without having to you know, hide layers or try to select multiple structures in order for you to get to a particular region that you're looking for, okay? Now for more tips and tricks, we have several tips videos, very short and um, quick videos that you can look at in order for you to, in order to throw more light to whatever concept that you're looking for within the Complete Anatomy platform.